Tie-dyeing with food coloring is an easy, safe alternative to using regular fabric dyes. For the best results, start with an item made out of white fabric that takes acid-based dyes easily, such as wool, silk, or nylon. To prep the garment for dyeing, pour equal amounts of water and white vinegar into a large bowl or bucket. Then soak the item in the mixture for one hour. When you're ready to start dyeing, take the item out of the vinegar mixture and wring it out so it's still damp, but not sopping wet. Next, tie up the fabric to create the kind of pattern you want. For instance, if you want a spiral, twist the item up like a cinnamon roll and wrap rubber bands around it to hold it in place. Or, you can create stripes by rolling the fabric into a tube and wrapping a series of rubber bands around it to make sections. To make your dye, choose two to three colors that you think will go well together. For example, you might go with blue, yellow, and green, or choose shades of pink, blue, and purple for a pastel look. Fill a squeeze bottle with half a cup, 120 milliliters of water, and eight drops of food coloring. Then, cover the bottle and shake it to mix the dye. Repeat this process with separate bottles for each color. Place the fabric you want to dye on a clean, flat surface, such as a plastic tray. Then, squirt some dye onto one of the tied-off sections of fabric. Make sure you use enough dye to saturate the entire section. Repeat this process with the rest of the sections until the entire item is dyed. Alternate between different colors of dye as you go. When you're done, place the item in a sealed plastic bag and let it sit for eight hours so the dye can set. Take the fabric out of the bag and remove the rubber bands. Then, dip your dyed item in a solution of half a cup, 150 grams of salt, and half a cup, 120 milliliters of water. Wring out the salt mixture and rinse the fabric under fresh, cool water until the water runs clear. Hang the fabric up to air dry, or put it in your dryer, and your new tie-dyed item is ready to use. Keep in mind that food coloring fades faster than regular fabric dye, and it can also release color and stain your other clothes in the laundry. To prevent stains, wash your dyed fabric separately for at least the first three washes.